Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. I'm Cranberry, it's me, I'm real, I'm a person with thoughts and feelings and emotions and stuff. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well, I'm having a pretty good day. Just got back from work, just chilling. You know, you know how dogs be. Uh, nothing really interesting to talk about here. Nothing interesting going on, so let's just uh, hop in, let's slice. Uh, spoilers for the last video. We won, hooray, eight win streak, hopefully we can keep it up. I will take a magical team, because magical teams are fun, but I should start locking in and being a little bit more serious. I hate these curses. Uh, Stone first isn't the worst if you end up getting an herbalist, but we don't know how long it'll take to find an herbalist, so I'm not super keen on taking that here. I'm pretty okay with just rolling instead, and I'll take a basic team. Uh, this is kind of miserable. I dislike most of these choices. I think third exert isn't the worst, but this is a terrible one. I am not a heavy sleeper fan. I personally think Heavy Sleeper is actually a pretty bad curse. Monster HP is pretty bad. This was this was a, kind of a nightmare of curses to get here. I think third turn exert isn't the worst. One character taking every other turn off isn't too bad, especially when we have Brigand here. So we can just use Brigand as the as the exerter, basically, and it should be fine. Um Not too worried, but it is just kind of again a bunch of really bad curses, I feel like. I'm not happy about that. Uh we'll put this here. Uh, we'll kill we'll kill this rat here. Nobody dies this turn. Now next turn's gonna be a little tricky because someone's gonna have to exert still. We exerted bring in this turn. We might as well exert the owl or the splinter because they've already used all their mana size pretty much. I think that makes sense. So we'll do this, this, exert here. I mean we have lethal, so who cares? That's fine. I will say double rerolling characters with the third exert is bad news. Or I double cantrips, I mean to say specifically. I'm gonna random. I think cantrips, we're gonna avoid like the plague here if we can help it. And Guardian's a pretty a pretty good gray for this team, so I'm happy about that. We have two seeds hatching here, which does kind of suck, but we should be able to we we can kill them both this turn. I am not too worried about that. Um I'll just exert here for now, that's fine. Poke, poke. Kill kill and i think we just kill the other seed and then this one runs away there we go cool stuff cool stuff so far it actually isn't too bad you know what maybe i'll learn something today maybe this curse isn't as bad as i think it's gonna be i don't think it's a very good one but maybe it's not so bad ballet shoes we'll take it here it's not good it's not bad though well it's like it's not good currently i should say but it's a good item to have i enjoy seeing it here we get our we get our exert roll on brigand which is nice we do need to kill this top goblin, which is pretty easy to do here. Uh, and then this wolf effectively has one health left here because we have the two damage or two mana for a burst. That will be enough to get there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Troll. You know, I'm down for I'm down for a seer here on a team like this where we are like taking some time off potentially to to exert. This seems like a pretty good pickup. I am I am okay with Seer being here. I'll take that. I mean, I would rather get mana on this point if you don't mind. Thank you. Honestly, I think the person we exert here is just uh, Dabble. I think they're the, the least impactful character on this team right now, probably. Put this here. I'll burst once and foretell. I mean, kind of just an obvious line, I guess. Big heal's not that good. I would prefer getting the, a cleave shield again if we could find it. Or just a normal shield here. I think one damage is pretty low. Cleave shield. Very good pickup. Very good stuff. I think we're going to exert the splint here. Because they are running out of sides to hit at this point. So I think they're the least valuable character to, to let go again. And we're making mana every turn. We're getting there. We should be able to kill this this troll pretty pretty soon. I'll take that. It gives me one extra foretell, which is nice. Looking for the exert side on bringing if I can find it. There we go. Put this here. We almost have lethal. We'll have it this turn, actually. Ex you know, not exactly. We'll have a little bit of overkill. But we didn't have it quite that turn. Now... We burst him down. I would love... I would love Herbless. I would love Vampire. They seem both to be pretty strong. 
I'll take a remedy though. Having access to a little bit of cleanse should be pretty good here. I do not hate that. Clutching, not a very big fan of. Okay, so Brigand can overkill here, in theory. I'm pretty I'm pretty down to clan with that, I think. I would rather get a two or a three mana hit here on Splint. Unfortunate. I don't think it matters too much who we hit specifically. Um, but we do need to keep Brigand alive so we can get the overkill here. Ideally. Um, this is pretty good this turn. So we have, have a couple plans. I'm going to remedy here and then we get to do the full block there, which is nice. Put this here. Exert Dabbler. First once and foretell and just poison, I think, this turn. It brings them to the point where we just need to roll the uh, exert side and we win the fight. Because we get to just go. I guess we can do this first. But first, kill. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah, this this curse has actually been pretty good so far. I have not mined it too much. Uh, I'm down for a disciple here. With this curse, this is actually a fantastic character because we can turn that exert side into a blank. Which then turns into uh, glow uh, value. So this makes a lot of sense to me, at least. And I'll put this on Disciple for now. Also, just a good mana generator for us here, too. I think, I think this is a good character for us, is what I'm trying to say. I think this is a solid pickup. Now, I really would love mana this turn on Disciple, so we can get a, a foretell off. Which we hit, which is very good. Um, let's just exert Dabble this turn. I'm going to work the ogre down. We should expect to, at some point, hopefully get a engage shield to get this militia to run away. There we go. Good stuff. I think we just exert the seer here at this point. Do I have lethal? I have lethal, don't I? Yeah, I can just kill his ass. Never mind. We just take the lethal. That is the optimal line, so to speak. I'm not a big magnet fan. I, I don't love it here. I don't like Aegis too much either. I think it's a random, especially with the curse that we have. Cause then, cause the problem is that once we hit the thirds, yeah, Aegis with with the with third turn exert is really terrible. Cause once we hit that third exert or that third dice used, the rest of the people will also get exerted. So, cause we're copying that, we're copying those keywords as well. So no thank you. Oh, Apple. I guess I put this here. It's not terrible on, on Dabble either, but I think it goes better on the Guardian for the Engage Cleave Shield side. Although we're looking for the... Or I guess... Ah, Ego's fine here. Because I think it will... I mean, it'll it'll keep Brigand alive. Which is good enough for me. We also get the Retreat here, which is nice too. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This looks, this looks very good. Okay, we do this here. Do this, we get... Oh, I didn't realize they were both targeting there. I wasn't paying attention. I knew one of them was targeting. I didn't realize it was both, though. Honestly, I think we just double burst, and this this causes a retreat, right? Yeah, goodbye, dummy. Very cool stuff. We don't have a synergy for it, but I do just like Basilisk Scale. We could find synergies in theory in the future. Or we just find like a character like Doctor to just cleanse it. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, we have a synergy. We have a synergy, actually. We have a uh, remedy. We can on-demand just cleanse. Yeah, I think we can take this. I don't think two slimes this fight is too big of a deal. We might have some casualties, but I think this is worth it. Um, who gets this? I guess Disciple can hold this. Or not this, this. Here we go. We just have a five mana side there. Extremely worth it. But we do need someone else to roll the mana. But that shouldn't be too hard to get, right? I will take a Dabbler here. Dabbler is, Dabbler is very good. It is more mana support for this team. Um, just a good character all around. Love to see it. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, only one slime that rolled damage, which is good news. Uh, I don't love the engage shield this turn, or the, the ego shield, I mean, this turn. Although it is pretty good. It does keep dabble alive. I was looking for, I was hoping to get the, the, the engage. But honestly, this does shield as much if we put it top here. It's six shield across three bodies versus three, six, six shield on one body. I think this is fine. No reason to risk rolling poorly, I think, in this position. Um, I'll take this as well. That's not terrible. Oh, this is... I, I think we can hold this. I just need Seer to roll any of the mana sides. It's like a 50-50 shot. I think it's worth going for. There we go. You do love to see this. It is, it is a girl boss winning today. Um, who do I exert, though? Probably just uh, Brigand, honestly, at this point. 
think that's fine. I think I just killed the slime here too. It's not super efficient, but it's okay. A little bit of overkill, but we get to prevent a lot of damage coming in on Dabbler, who is, who is taking a lot of pressure here, as you can see. I'll just keep taking the, the cleave here. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. Take a, take a uh, one of these. Oh, my dude. Disciple's going off. Um, who do I, who do I exhaust this turn? Well, I guess for starters, we can, I know what, we probably just keep exhausting Brigand, honestly, because I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up, uh, glowing this turn. Let me just glow. Oh, and it, you know what's so weird? Holy shit, that's so cool. We bypassed, by doing it that order, we bypassed the, the exert application. That's so interesting. I didn't realize that's how that would work. That's sick as hell. Okay, I'm, I'm in love with this team right now. This is sick. This is some very good stuff. We have lethal, I think, here, too. Yeah, there we go. That works. What a sick team. Okay. Order, order, lol is very important. I definitely declined this because we have some great stuff going for us here. A uh, hack also does work with this curse once we do eventually lose our disciple. But inner strength is also a pretty good pickup. Unfortunately, inner strength does not apply. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident it doesn't apply to the exert that's being, that's being applied from our curse. Pretty sure that does not work, but uh, it's just good on Brigand right now. And it will be good no matter what, I'm pretty confident. So I'll put that here for the time being. It does change things a little bit, but I'm pretty sure we're still going to end up probably exerting uh, Brigand when possible. Okay, we have the synergy, we just need a little bit of mana, guys. Come on, just a little bit of mana, please. Seer, mission accomplished. Um, yeah, I think we just keep doing it on, on Brigand, honestly. Should have maybe tried to dig a bit more for a, uh, cleave attack on, on Guardian this turn. Doesn't matter too much, but it would have been a, probably a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we got damage coming in. This is fine enough here. Again, maybe we're supposed to dig. Dude, this Disciple does not miss on this five mana side. It's crazy. Ooh, we get a good glow turn. So as we learned before, we do want to wait till now to do the glow, so it'll bypass the uh, the exert. Which again is so crazy. That's sick as hell, man. Uh, I think we just keep foretelling. We're not taking much damage here, and eventually we're just gonna kill all the bones, and then all the graves will just like die by proxy. I'll take these. These are good rolls. Can I get the five mana again, please, if you don't mind? You know what? I'll settle for the two. That's that's okay. We do this. Put this here. And I think we just do this. That seems fine to me. This bone runs away. Very cool. I mean, here's the thing. Sinew just holds the inner strength very well. Whirl. Maybe one day, buddy, but absolutely not today. Uh, we don't have we do have a combo actually with chain. We do have the one cleave side on Guardian here, which is cool too. Yeah, this team is just sick, man. Disciple is so cool on this team too. I'm actually becoming a disciple lover. I can't believe it. I'll take this. I'll take this. If you get lucky here, you can roll the stone side. Dude, it's fucking crazy. This is this is the most busted disciple I've ever had in my life. Like, hands down. I'm going to actually do this here, I think. We can't just kill the zombie here, unfortunately. Does not quite get there. I'll take these. We're going to end up glowing this turn, probably. We're going to end up killing everyone this turn, probably. Cool, cool. Uh, militia, three suitles, two bones. Not scary. I'm not getting rid of the Disciple. Disciple's been sick on this team. Uh, hmm. This is genuinely kind of interesting. I think this maybe said about Cocoon on, like, on, like, Dabbler potentially here. Although, I don't like Cocoon that much. I think there's, there's certain characters that Cocoon's really good on that are not going to be good because of the curses that we have. Something like... See, here's the thing. Wizard is secretly pretty bad with this curse because you oftentimes end up using the wizard's uh, spell to use a dice a second time that will trigger the exert a, six, uh, like a second time per round, which is not good. 
because uh, especially because we're not going to have Disciple for the end game. That's going to cause some problems. So it's Cocoon, I think, would normally be okay on Wizard, but be pretty bad here. I think same logic for Sorcerer. Sorcerer is terrible with this curse. So I don't love Cocoon here. Our, our blue has been... Our, our, usually, Cocoon's also pretty good on red characters, because usually their heals are pretty weak on turn one. But our Disciple has been very... I mean, maybe we've just been lucky, but they've been very effective on this team. So I don't think we want to we lower their turn one efficacy here. So yeah, I don't, I don't think we take either of these. I think we just go for a random. I think we can get better value on average. Blinding Bolt's just crazy. This is such a good item. So I'm pretty happy with this now, too. I think I'll put it on Seer. They have the lowest HP. That seems fine. Okay, Seer is taking a hit here this turn. So, oh, fuck. Dude, it's crazy. It's This team is so good. Look at them fucking go, man. We blinding bolt here. We make a billion mana. We we just got a retreat off the militia. I didn't even realize who was targeting that turn. That's so funny. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cash. I think I uh, actually I, I'm gonna cash in the guardian here for the exert. No one's taking any damage. Damage is fake. It's not even real. I'm gonna put a block here. I think I could I could roll sinew for actually I should roll sinew for for uh, stuff. These are all good. Sinew could do better though. Sinew could roll a four damage side here. Like there you go. We do this line. Put this here. Probably just kill a bone. Uh, prep another bone for death next turn, probably. I am not even close to being concerned here, though. This is this is quite the game. Again, our our disciples going crazy mode too. Like, do not get it twisted. Just fuck. What the heck, man? Please, actually, not too bad here. It is just three damage, which I don't I don't dislike. Um, I'll exert. Oh no, I, I forgot. We can bypass. We can bypass. Oh, sorry, I need to do this order. We can bypass the exert. Put this. I guess doesn't really matter too much. I'll just play it like so here. I don't know. Should be fine. We have sixteen mana. That is lethal. We might have just had lethal last turn. I wasn't paying attention. That is very much possible. Let's click the last burst. Ooh, we got a little repositioning here. What do we have? Swap Guardian with Dabbler? No, I don't think so. I see no reason for this swap. Okay, so this is tragic. Although, I guess Wraith still holds the... the, uh, the What's it called? Basilisk scale pretty well here. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. It's, it's, it's acceptable. It's not fun or good but it is just an acceptable uh thing to take here although oh I, I just realized oh man not only did we lose blank but we got uh a cantrip here which can cause problems with the exerting that's annoying you know what i should have taken blank now knowing how this interacts with uh with the exert mechanic blank would have been so strong on the, on this on this uh this this uh run I didn't know. Uh, so here's the thing. I think we're going to go cleanse here into Fortel. That is full blocking on Seer. I think we'll just do something like this right now. And then Fortel one more time. We're going to make a lot of bones. We're just going to make it infinite mana here. We should be able to kind of sustain and just kill things pretty handily. But this, uh, this, this, this Wraith is going to be an issue for us, I think. Although, I don't know. I mean, they still have good sides. They, they have good enough sides, I guess. I shouldn't be too worried. Uh, I'm going to kill a bone. Probably one that's targeting my my uh, my boy Seer down here. Although, I should put this here, I think. Yeah, Seer's already used at least one of their good mana sides at this point. I wasn't paying attention last time. Maybe they've used both, both of them now. So, Seer's probably on the hook for being the exert boy, if I had to guess. We're full blocking anyway there too, which is nice. I'm gonna kill this bones because it's hitting the dabble. And dabble is gonna be the weakest here, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, we've been weakened, but this is honestly pretty good for us still. Yeah, all in all, very good rolls. We might opt to only use two dice this turn. We might do like, like, like this into this here and just not roll anything else, not exert. 
Well, I think, I think it's worth it to exert for the, the bone kill here. I think it is just fine. But it's worth considering to just not use anything. There may be some times where we end up just only using two dice. Ah, fuck me. Dude, this Wraith sucks. He's not rolling the five mana side at all. My, my Disciple kept rolling that shit. This is, this is tragic. The Asir doesn't even have anything to exert onto this turn, which sucks. So just play it like this. Do we have lethal? It's pretty close. Okay, we do this. We get exhausted again or whatever. Or not exhausted, weakened again. Oh, I'll take mana, I guess. Well. I'll do that. Eventually we'll kill this lich. It might take some time, but eventually we'll get there. Wraith finally rolling the big mana side. You do love to see it. Seer unfortunately not having anything. If we weren't weakened, I would love to exert Seer this turn instead, but here we are. We'll just play like this, so this is fine. I must have lethal at this point. Yeah, I have lethal. I might have had it last turn actually too. I wasn't paying too close of attention. Uh, idol is fine. Uh, Crescent Shield's okay, too, but... Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take the Crescent Shield. I forgot. We do have a combo here. Uh, who's gonna hold this? Hmm... I guess this goes here, then. Because the, the combo is, is just Ballerina Shoes, or Ballet Shoes, into, uh, the Crescent Shield, which is pretty good. Covering a Blank is very solid. We could put it on Seer as well. Actually, you know what? I kinda like it on Seer. Um, because then we get to have a usable side here. I guess I guess Guardian can hold this still, and then this is this is better here anyway. I think so. Yeah, that's that's okay. Mm. Next fight. No one's even dying this turn. Very good news. I'll take these. We can just take this honestly. It's not the worst uh, wraith uh, pull here. This goes here. We foretell. I'm gonna wait to remedy until until either Seer's getting targeted or Wraith rolls the, the stone side. Son of a bitch. These are pretty good rolls, so I'll, I'll hold these. Uh, we can kill the call, so Dabbler is not even in any actual danger. I'll put this here too. Oh, shit, hold on. I have I have Blinding Bolt here. We don't even have to put this on Guardian, basically. He pretty much full blocks without even using the, uh, the Engage Shield. Okay, that's cool. We have Lethal. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Uh, I'm okay with Stoic here. I'm okay with Stoic here. Yeah, that the, the end. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, I don't see anything else to do really with this. Um, I guess I have a couple of thoughts here. I don't hate something like this into uh, ego. You do sometimes just target yourself with the with the redirects just for the shields. That's not a terrible line for us here. But uh, I think I like this more. We can put the we can put the the apple onto stoic as well. I think Blinding Bolt goes on Stoic here, too. I think that's pretty good. This is fine. This is fine. Seer's taking some damage. We'll hopefully redirect this turn. Oh, we get we get the combo, too, which is good. I will. I, I apologize in advance. I will have times, probably, where I just see the stone and just roll over it because I forget that I, I like, we have like a, a built-around plan for it. So apologies, apologies. You know, whatever, fine. I'll just take this and kill the, the War Chief this turn, I think. Oop. Exert dabble. Put this here. Foretell once and pass. I will say we're gonna have a little bit of trouble actually killing these demons. Uh, Sinew does a pretty good job. He's kind of like the only one that does a good job. Well, actually, no, we're, never mind. Everyone does a good job. I lied. Uh. Why does exert sinew this turn? 
We can kill this demon, actually. Hold on. That's pretty good. Okay. Wraith is pained. That's okay. Guess that's okay, too. Yeah, whatever. I don't have to worry too much here. We should be able to kill this demon this turn. Out too much struggle, probably. There we go. My Damon. Uh, charge is not terrible on this team. Duck, I mean, doesn't have grace energy right now, but could be cool. Uh... We may be much more inclined to take the wizard if we saw a wizard eventually. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for a duck angle here. I don't think it's amazing, but it's not bad. And I think we put it probably. There's some things we could potentially do here. That I'm not super opposed to. Um, just thinking. I guess it just goes on dabble for the dabble for the time being. It's like just solid value. Big shield is not bad. And it is like dabbles to worst side, so it's a pretty good, pretty good exchange. Dude, this fucking I hate this Wraith man. Although they're doing well enough. But they are they are causing a bit of a kerfuffle here. I will say. Kerfuffling has been occurring. Um I think we're supposed to exert this here, honestly. I guess exert the dabble too. Oh, is there the sinew? Maybe I don't know. This is fine. We'll get. We'll hold remedy for when we need it. We're getting super poisoned this turn. Hopefully, we can get Wraith to roll the the stone side here. But we we have two characters exerted this turn. We maybe should have held for overkill. I don't know. Hmm. I think there's a good chance Sinu's gonna die here, so I'm pretty okay with exerting like so. Maybe Dabble can roll the big heal and we can keep Sinu alive. We'll see. Oh, okay, they rolled the big heal. What did you roll? You rolled your your damage hit here. We do if we do this, we're one short of overkilling. This so sad. You know we can roll. We can roll damage on Dabbler and get there. Then it's a little risky, but I'm down to give this a try. Okay, yeah, there we go. That should be it. So we do this hit, 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 overkill. Cool. Okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. It is the Troll King. Hello, Troll King. Fuck off, Ace. Uh, insane. A uh, Wanderer works really well with the uh, with the what's it called here? Uh, with the 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 duck. Not we're not gonna give the duck to Wander, but just like as a person to potentially get big aside to enable someone else ducking, should be good news. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Really worried about like Wander copying like a, a dodge a dodge cantrip exert. That'll be really annoying if that happens. Okay, that's good news though. That's a very good roll. Very happy to see that here. Wander is taking some targeting, so I'd rather roll Defy side if possible. Let's try one more roll. Okay, there we go. Cool. We did do some good stuff today. Uh, I think we, I think we're just taking the Troll King down here. We're not gonna kill him this turn, but I think we're just, we're just going that way. This goes here. Should hopefully be a turn two kill after the Fortels. A okay, Wander once again taking a big chunk of damage here. I think we can settle for this though. That looks pretty good to me. We do just have Lethal here. A pretty good turn. Stoic does just fully tank the slate hit because of the uh, the blinding bolt, which is cool too. 
and then Wraith just rolls the big mana side, so we're looking pretty much in the in the clear on this one. There we go, cool. Good stuff. Turn two control kill. Respectable. Uh whack? We don't really have much of a whack seal angle on this team. But it's such a strong item, we should be able to find something. Although Brimstone is kind of sick with the uh, ballet shoes. It might actually be a Brimstone angle here, which is pretty interesting. I'm kind of digging that as an option. Yeah, you know what? I think it is. I think it's a Brimstone angle here, which is crazy. I think this works pretty well for us. I think the line here is going to actually be... Follow me on a journey for a moment here. I think the scale goes on to Dabbler. Because Wraith and Seer should hopefully make mana for this. And this is the exact same thing, basically. I think we can still put the duck here as well. Well, maybe at this point, duck just goes here. I don't know. I think, I think the line, actually, is going to be ballet shoes on Wraith into the Brimstone. For a 12 damage hit here. That, I think, is looking pretty juicy to me. Now, what else do we do besides that? I don't know. Uh, let me think for a moment. Let me think for a moment. I think I just give the Leather Vest a Wanderer. No reason to give you Inner Strength, I feel like. It doesn't really do anything for you at all. I mean, no one holds Inner Strength here, basically. It doesn't really matter. I guess you can go there. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think Crescent Shield... I mean, arguably Crescent Shield is better than the single growth side. I think that's fine. Okay, we can run it like this. Okay, I fucking hate this Wraith, man. <laughs> what a bastard. I'll hold these. Defy is obviously very good this turn. He almost did it to himself. Dude, he's gonna do it. I can tell. He's gonna do it. Okay, well... Wraith can get exerted here. I don't give a shit. This kills two zombies this turn, which is pretty nice. And I think we don't even use the stoic here. I think we just stay unexerted. Okay, Dabbler is taking some pretty big hits here. Would love to see a single bit of mana so we can remedy and get the stone unstoned here. So whenever you're feeling this here, just, just give me some mana, please. If you don't mind, just any day now. Bastard. Absolute fucking bastard character. I guess we do this first. Not that it matters. I don't think the order is really a thing here. I'm not, I'm not exerting the Wanderer for one damage. Seems extremely bad as well to me. Well, 12 damage is extremely good to me, so that seems solid. Uh, I guess I put this here. I'm wasting some of the shields here, but uh, who cares? I don't. I, we're we're going to win this fight. I'm not too worried. We can kind of play this one a little lazy. go put the redirect here and the fight warlock's a pretty good blue venom's not a bad orange by any stretch but like warlock's a pretty solid pickup here very happy to have that uh holds the inner strength pretty well although we do lose the bloodlust and the and the life gain here but it is just worth it for the pain sides being negated in my opinion um so that's good that is very very good um i think we're just gonna go A okay, Warlock getting very targeted. Would love to get a redirect this turn. I fucking hate you, Wraith, but everyone else is rolling very good this turn. Can you... a uh, fucking asshole. What a, what a dick. What an absolute fucking asshole. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna hit the Banshee, probably. Redirect like so. Get my five mana, if you don't mind. He's just blaze the spiker because they are doing a lot of damage to the stoic this turn. That looks like a pretty good round to me. We were we were double exerted though, which is annoying. But you know what? Who gives a shit? I guess. Oh, hold on. Hit here first. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Charge hammer is pretty decent. Someone should be able to hold charge hammer pretty well, I imagine. Yeah, oh, uh, let me think of a collar, though. Collar, uh, we don't really have much to copycat, actually. Yeah, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a charge hammer on this team, I think. 
It's another ridiculously strong side. I think we can... Uh, here's the problem. I really like the Basilisk scale line here, so I don't want to get rid of this mana because we have, you know, Wraith just constantly rolling the dodge over and over again, which is annoying. I think it might just be like get rid of the get rid of the leather vest on Wanderer, and then get rid of a Defy side just for a guaranteed tenor. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, you know what? Actually, though, I think I like this more. I think I like having because we can do is we can we can. Oh, if we if we have oh, if we have like spark or something, this would go crazy. Obviously, we don't, so there's not much point in talking about it. But this there, there's there's a line here, there is a line here, right? We charge into Echo Copycat. The problem with that is uh, we're forced to we're forced to target the character on our team with the most health. The character on our team with the most health should be stoic pretty consistently, right? Who can redirect? So it's good to put those shields on here. I think this is ultimately a pretty good line. Shame we can't put this in here too, but whatever, no room. Tragic. Uh, next fight, please. That's pretty good. I'll, I mean, we can do better on, on Stoic here, but I pretty much wants to just settle. Defy's looking pretty good there. We can roll pretty much all these, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can we just do like this, probably? Into... Hmm. Can you just kill one of the cause, probably? And then we can just blaze the other call. I think that's pretty decent. Who did you redirect on, though? We should redirect on on Wander. I'm realizing now. Although we should hit, we should uh, we should hit first. So hit first, redirect. Blaze here too. I guess no matter what, someone's taking some damage. Hmm. Yeah, never mind. Put the paint on Stoic. I think that's that's okay. So we go. Yeah, we do this. We do this. Uh. Put one burst here too. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. This demon's summoning. This this guy's not doing much today. Five minutes is a pretty good roll. I'll take that. These are these are all good enough rolls for us right now. Yeah, Wander needs to take some time off here. They're not going to be able to do much this turn, unfortunately. Also, they just put the burst into the demon here to get it down to one the you know. One remaining pip. Well, charge hammer is pretty good here. It does kill one of the demons for us. I would love to roll the wand this turn on warlock so we can just kill the other demon. Oh, we have we have stoked to do. Never mind. Okay, we're good. Good stuff all around. We're fighting the hand. I'm. I don't feel too worried about this honestly. I think we're gonna be okay here. I like our general strategy. I think the agent works pretty well on this team. We're going to have to move the mana combo back to uh, Wraith here, but I think I just realized something that's going to be very strong. Although we don't have enough item slots for a shit, never mind. I was going to say, if we could get the Brimstone onto the Charge Hammer, that'd be crazy, but we don't. We can't do that, tragically. I think Agent's pretty good. I think these are both fine, but I think Agent getting uh, plus one on the quad uses is a little too juicy to pass up on. And you know, actually, Agent holds this pretty well, too. Honestly, the single-use side's pretty bad. I think we put this back here. Um, you know what I'm kind of tempted to do as well, actually? I kind of like the idea of going of going uh, like this. Just making a gigantic mana side here as well. To me, that looks pretty good. I guess Inner Strength just goes nowhere at this point. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little annoying, but I think this is pretty solid. Um, you know what we could do actually? No, fuck this. Fuck this. This is bad. This is bad. We can just do, we can just do inner strength and then basilisk scale on the warlock. Yeah, that's really strong. Never mind. That's way, that makes way more sense to me. 
This is a heal 13. Still no real slot for Crescent Shield, unfortunately. It's not terrible versus the hand. It goes up to two pips, and with the Sabres attacking, you can usually do a bunch of uh, rescue shenanigans with it. Rescue and Rampage shenanigans, but it doesn't. It just doesn't have a slot on the team, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go. Hand is summoning turn one. Probably pretty good news for us. Not much for Wanderer to roll here. I guess we can look for something maybe a little bit better. I'll take this. This is fine this turn. Oh, I'm now, I am now just realizing that Agent is really bad with uh, the quad use. Yeah, this is not good. Well, we have because of our because of our curse. I forgot about exhaust. We should have taken fencer instead. Although fencer wasn't good either, but both of these are pretty bad characters for this team. Duplicates also really bad. We talked about it before with uh, I forget who it even was, but duplicating the exhaust is a very bad choice. Although shift or duplicate is very funny. You do get some like insane shit where you get like what is this right now? Death. Okay, that's not great. What did you roll? Resonate. Copy the effects of the previous dice. Okay, that's not very good. Did you roll? Did you also roll death? Okay, so two of my characters rolled death here, which sucks. What did you roll? Resilient. Pips remain when the side is replaced. Okay, so that's so these do nothing for us here. I, I don't think that like changing the order does anything. I think they can roll the same things no matter what here. Yeah, but it's 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 good to see what you roll on this to see if it's worth if it's worth doing. As you can see here, it's a very bad line. Um, I don't know who to exhaust this turn. It's honestly probably just Wraith. Let me do this. I think we just exhaust you. Uh, I think we're trying to rush down hand here. We're letting him summon sabers here. These two are exerted. There's one in reinforcements. This shouldn't be too bad. Okay, Wander, it's time for you to roll your defy side now, if you don't mind. Just any 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 moment now. Oh, this is actually an issue. We rolled the stone here. We don't have mana because we exerted the uh, wraith this turn. Fuck. Hmm. Let's even get a redirect on stoic maybe this turn. Okay. Well. Oh, we're a little short on stunning the hand here too. Okay, I'm going to take this. Mm. We've got some issues. We've got some issues. Stun is not that good this turn. It's not terrible, though. We do get to stun, like, one of the sabers. So we can do, like, this. You can put this here. That's not even good, though, honestly. Okay, we have to re-roll re Stoic, I'm pretty sure. And we can't we can't waste our our huge defy roll here on trying to roll a copycat shield. I think we have to roll these pretty much all of these. We'll see how it looks though. Okay, we got the big defy hit. Oh, this is not good though. This is obviously not good. Can Wanderer and Warlock clean up here? I honestly don't think so. I think I think this is kind of doomed now. But maybe they can get the job done. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. The, it was a big mistake to uh, to exert the wraith, I guess, here this turn because we needed we rolled the stone side, but we didn't have the mana from anyone else to uh, unstone here. Let me think for a second. Warlock did throw, by the way. This is this is fucked up. Oh, this again. This is like uh, maybe the basilisk scale was the issue. I mean, it was a problem for sure. But if we had a little more mana, the charge would just kill the hand this turn and we'd be fine. That is the uh, the big issue at play here. Could do this and let Stoic and Warlock live. That seems pretty bad, though. Thing is, let Wanderer live. And let's, let's see. Hey, Warlock and Wanderer, let's see if you guys can get the job done. I'm curious. Okay, hand is summoning this turn. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, we lose this. We lose this. Sheesh, man. Ah, man. It, it's it's my fault for doing the Basilisk scale line and, and letting the... Uh, and letting the what's-it-called get exerted. 
but man, that that's brutal. Third turn exert. Uh, is it is it? I don't know. I mean, we die. We die. There's no. There's there's obviously no getting out here. Brutal game. Where did we go wrong? Let's try to analyze where we went wrong now. Obviously, the basilisk scale did fuck us over on the on the warlock that turn. If we had mana, we win that fight. We win that fight, no problem. So triple triple blanking there. Even even the wand would have saved us. Even the wand that turn would have saved us that fight. So it's 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 three fifty fifties in a row. But I put myself in that spot, exerting the wraith so we couldn't roll any mana to unstone the warlock was bad too. Obviously. Um, and then also the agent was a bad pickup. I forgot about third turn exert with the quad use. That was a bad line as well. Fencer would have been better there for sure. But they were both pretty bad either way. Yeah, I don't know. I made some I made some just bad plays there for sure at the end. And uh I dude, I love Warlock, but I do feel like sometimes and again, it's the Basilisk scale is what really screwed me over. But I've had times where I feel like I I just desperately need mana and Warlock just refuses to make it for whatever reason. So that's really unfortunate. Anyway, I will see you next time. Goodbye.